we have arrived here in Paraji, Brazil. And over the next three days, we are going to be showing you exactly why you have to add this place to your itinerary when you visit Brazil. A big thank you to Paraji Tours for helping us choose the best day tours to do from this town. Now let's go explore. Bom dia, pessoas lindas. <laughs> That's my best interpretation of good morning, beautiful people. <laughs> we have arrived in Paraji here in Brazil. Excuse us if we keep looking down because this road is so uneven and cobbled, we're for sure gonna fall over. But we have three full days to explore this area. And I don't even think that's enough time because there's so much cool stuff to do here. So today we're actually not exploring the old town of Paraji, which is like, as you can see, so adorable. Gorgeous. So nice. The vibe here is really cool. But we're gonna go jump straight on a boat and do one of the day trips to explore one of the incredible natural wonders here. I'll tell you more about it when we get there. But <laughs> look at this street. I know. Straight out of a fairy tale. Love it. A little history on Paraji. Located just a four hour drive west of Rio de Janeiro, Paraji is the most well preserved colonial town in Brazil. So it's naturally a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Paraji is a gorgeous colonial town filled with bright white buildings decorated with colorful doors and windows lining the cobblestone streets. In 1696, the Portuguese discovered the world's richest gold mines in the mountains of Minas Gerais. Following this, the 1200 kilometer Camino de Ouro, or Gold Trail, was built to transport the gold to Paraji, where it was then loaded onto ships and taken to Rio de Janeiro before being shipped to Portugal. Eventually, a new and safer road was built to transport the gold directly to Rio, as the transport ships were constantly raided by pirates in the Bay and Nara dos Reis. Paraji was forgotten. Since then, it has had three economic revivals. Once more as a port to transport coffee before a railway was built bypassing Paraji. Then it became well known for its production of cachaca, which is a sugarcane derived spirit famous today as the basis for Brazil's most famous cocktail, the Caprina and finally as a tourist destination due to its rich history, beautiful colonial architecture and stunning surrounding scenery. Wow, I'm blown away honestly. This is really spectacular guys, so beautiful. And it's such nice weather today, perfect boat day. All right, now we've got to find our boat. This is exactly how I imagine Brazil to be. Yeah. Like, this is all of the beautiful mountains into the bay with the colorful boats and people selling coconuts and like fried stuff. I love it. <laughs> What is a fjord, you ask? Honestly, we had no idea either. But basically, a fjord is a long and narrow ocean inlet with steep mountains and cliffs on each side. Unlike a bay, a fjord is longer than it is wide. <laughs> I think we've just found paradox. It is breathtaking here. Yeah. Like, look at that peak. Oh yeah. It looks like a little tiny version of Sugarloaf Mountain huh? in Rio. Yeah. And then there's this beautiful blue water, sand, palm trees. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have 50 minutes to just chill at this private beach. Hello! With these adorable doggies. Hi! And Alisor, our guide, just told us that here is really good snorkeling. So they brought snorkels for us and we're going to go check out the water. Hi! You guys are so cute.
All right, that snow thing was actually pretty impressive. Max and I have been lucky enough, we've done quite a bit of snorkeling and scuba diving in our life and we've seen some pretty amazing reefs. So it wasn't super colorful. There wasn't like a ton of different fish or sea life to see, but I'm actually surprised at how good it was. It was impressive for where we are. And we, the water was so blue and the fact that there were any fish at all, super happy. But I thought we'd give you a little tour of our little private beach. Max is over here just living his best life. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this is. It's so hard for me to grasp the beauty of this place. It is so nice. I wonder if this is fresh water. No, it's literally touching the ocean. No, it's fresh water. No way. Come taste it. That's Look. coming from the other side? It's from there. Oh my god, it's so cold! This is fresh water. Wow, but maybe don't drink it. I had one sip just to know. Wow. Wait, you can put it in your mouth and spit it out. <laughs> oh, this is nice. This is really refreshing. The water in the ocean was actually really warm. And actually, I don't even know if we've told you this, but the fjord is, is from the ocean. So it's kind of like a bay, I guess, but it's really long and skinny. So maybe that's why it's a fjord and not a bay. I don't know. We spent the day moving between pristine beaches. We literally drove across the fjord. <laughs> We're at another beach. <laughs> so amazing. I love it. Snorkeling, floating and soaking up all of the natural beauty of this magical place. The best thing about this tour, apart from the breathtaking scenery, is the slow pace. The only thing that would make this moment better is if I have an acai bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the goal is just to relax and enjoy. We're just sitting here living our best life. Nothing to trouble us. I think we've made it for our next stop for lunch. And once again, another little piece of paradise. I love that we just got dropped off by our boat. And now we're on this beautiful beach and we're just gonna go sit at a little restaurant and have our lunch. Amazing. What a great day. This is just luxury. It's a champagne lifestyle on a lemonade budget. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such amazing. a casual as well. Yeah. So chill. It feels so, so chill. And Aliso, our guide, is so like relaxed and he's smooth voice. Like yeah. he should be on radio or something. Yeah. <laughs> Lunch is served, so lunch is not included as part of the tour, but they bring you to a restaurant where you can order it. And these are huge! Look at this huge fish! Perfect. Well, that's a lot of fish. I that's thought that was okay. for three people. That's gonna be perfect. Yeah, good protein. Yeah. <laughs> It actually looks so good, but hold on, let's taste some. So we got cavallo fish, which I've never had before. And it's this really thick, chunky fish. Looks good. Oh my god, that's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Tastes like fish. <laughs> Also, one of the girls on that tour did another tour and she, a boat tour to the islands, but she said this one is so much more beautiful. So a big thank you to Paraji Tours for helping us choose the best tours to do whilst we're here in Paraji. Amazing. Paradise. Yeah. We'll put a link in the description so you can book the same tour as well. Plus, we still have another two full days here, so so much stuff to do. A great way to spend our first day of exploring in Parachi. 
really, really beautiful. So amazing, like perfect day to start the day here. Yeah. Yeah. Can't start, I mean, start with paradise like that, can't go wrong. But now it is absolutely boiling hot. We just made it back to town, so we need to go get ourselves something cold, refreshing, and delicious. Uno, un pasquina con chocolate y menta. Yeah. We were gonna get a side, but then we saw this offset machine and for Rio. Look at that. Bargain. Oh my gosh. For four Rio. Bargain. I got chocolate and mint. Yeah. Pretty good. For it, this is about a dollar, dollar twenty. Try. I don't know if you're wet or you're sweaty. I'm sweaty. <laughs> That's why I need ice cream. Maybe not the best weather to be hanging out at waterfalls today, but we are at least very grateful that we got the weather we got yesterday. <laughs> but the beaches, we wouldn't want to be at the beach today at all. But the waterfall will at least be a bit sheltered. We are at Cachorrera da Prada Branca, which I'm pretty sure means the white waterfall, but I'm not 100% sure. And yeah, this is our first one of the day. I think we're going to either two or three waterfalls plus this tour with Paraji Tours actually takes you to a Kashaka distillery as well. Kashaka is the local liquor here and it's what they make the famous cafeinas out of. And from the corner of my eye, I just saw the waterfall. Ooh. Oh wow. This is stunning. The walk up to this waterfall, beautiful, picturesque, so nice. Really and our guide gave us a little rundown on the local uh, environment or history of the place so it's good to always know what you're looking at yeah, in a way we learned that the acai berry actually comes from a palm tree which we had no idea and they eat the hearts of the palm trees which i'm not exactly sure what that is but it must be some part of the root or fruit or something like that which i really want to try that sounds really interesting mm. wow Beautiful. There's actually a remnant of a building of the hydroelectric that used to be here. I don't know if this is the right way to call it a hydroelectric, but it's very cool. I mean, it's quite well preserved considering the environment it's in but it's yeah it's very cool I love old stuff like this but okay, you have like this old wheel here you have like some engines over there and then you can see they build the building with the carved the rock carved into it very nice I don't know what it is about waterfalls but gosh they just make you happy time to go swimming It started pouring so we had to leave but uh, it was an amazing first stop. So beautiful, like I'm already loving this tour. We still have two steps. <laughs> As we mentioned, stop number two today is a Kashaka distillery and this one is so cute, I'm so excited. Yeah, it looks very cute. It looks so nice, they have these gorgeous little lights and like these little I don't know, like something over there. I don't Cauldrons. Know. Looks cute. Let's go check it out. So we were waiting for you. Uh, now I will do a presentation in English for everyone. Okay. We will go first to um, 
I'm in the process of making cachaça and then we go back to the shop to taste. Perfect. <laughs> As you know, since cachaça is the traditional uh, distilled of Brazil, it's made from sugar cane. And up there you can uh, see the machine that grinds the sugar cane to extract the juice. Okay? And then they will install inox tubes that reaches the fermentation room directly only by gravity. Up there we will also separate the cask of sugar cane. It's used first in the furnaces to produce energy. It helps burn the wood that we use. And also what is left of this, uh, of this cask, they use it as a fertilizer later in the soil. Okay, now here the juice will reach this tank first. In it they measure the temperature, they also me measure the sugar level and if they need to adjust anything, they do it here. Now the yeast has these microorganisms that will consume the sugar and transform it to alcohol and the process here will take three to four days. Then we will have the fermented juice that's called sugar cane wine. Or here in Parachi it also has a native name which is mukungu. Now they will send this liquid to this room to do the distillation. The distillation is the process of heating the sugar cane wine to extract the alcohol and make the cachaça. But it's still harsh. We need to, uh, to proof it first with distilled water and then they put it in inox tanks for three months minimum to rest and become the balanced cachaça that we can consume. So this is here the process. Now we will go to the shop to taste. Now we're heading over to the tasting room because we're going to taste them. Best part. <laughs> when you taste, you have to avoid the contact of the oxygen with the alcohol in your mouth because this is how it burns. So what we do is we breathe first, okay? Hold your breath, drink, do some swishing to awaken the taste buds and once you swallow, breathe through the nose. When you avoid opening your mouth, as long as there is alcohol, it won't burn a thing in your throat. It just tingles in the mouth, okay, on the tongue, on the wall, but it's normal. And later, the the re, the uh, how do you call it? The aftertaste. The aftertaste will bring to you the flavors, the aromas that you, you should feel. Okay. So let's go. We first. Slow switch. Four seconds. I think I opened my mouth. <laughs> it tingles a lot. Now it's more like a free for all, and we just get to go ask for as many tastings as we want. This one is Gabriella, so this one actually is made with cloves and cinnamon, and this is like Paris Kashaka. Kashasa. I'll learn it one day. Alright? Salut! I'm glasses! Oh, it's so good. That is good. That is so nice. So it's actually sweetened with molasses as well, and that is like on its own with some ice. Yeah. Yum. What's next? There is a chocolate one there. All right. You want to go for it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he is just the sweetest guy. He's so happy. All right. We got a chocolate one because why the hell not? We're in Brazil. They make chocolate. They make cachaça. Gotta go. Mm. Wow. Salt. <laughs> it's so freaking good. Wow. Oh my god. Yum. That is really good. I'm like so impressed by this alcohol. Brazil, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we asked our guy to do a shot of us. So this one is banana and cinnamon. Oh, yeah. oh my god. We're getting so many shots. That was one of the funnest tastings that we've ever done. Our guide was so fast but so informative and everything we tried was actually so high quality and so delicious. But now we have another waterfall to go visit, so off we go. Oh, so wow! Cool. Did it hurt? No. A little bit? Not at all? No. 
<laughs> Did it look like I hurt myself? <laughs> oh no, it's okay. Come. You like turned sideways. I did on purpose. This is honestly, like if you've watched our vlogs at waterfalls before, like in the Philippines, this is terrifying for me, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go out there at least. <laughs> This waterfall has been so much fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Seriously, highly, highly recommend this tour. It's been the best. But it's pretty cold now, so I think we're gonna head back pretty soon. unfortunate with the weather today it's basically been raining all day long but it's now 5 p.m. and it's only very lightly raining so we've ventured out because at 5 p.m. there is a free walking tour of Paraji and I think this is the best time to be out in Paraji anyway because if it is sunny during the day it's so dang hot that if you come out before sunset time you're just gonna be so sweaty and miserable anyway so it kind of worked out worked out perfect sort of as long as it doesn't rain on us heavy this little town square is so picturesque so we are meeting in front of the church you just find the guys in the red shirts that's the free walking tour you don't have to make a reservation and it's every day at 10 30 and 5 p.m but like i said if it's a sunny day i think 10 30 it would be so hot so definitely try to go for the 5 p.m one also oh that's pretty good it's kind of holding out let's see how it goes So it has really started bucketing down since the tour has started only like 20 minutes ago. Uh, we did not bring anything because we are absolutely stupid. So we've actually left the tour sadly. I think there's a bar right behind you guys. I think we're gonna just go over there, have a couple of drinks and wait for the rain to stop. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna run across with me luck. <laughs> Okay, Alright, so we are ordering two of the local drinks. So this is the special drink from Padaji. Uh, we'll show you when it comes. We tasted some of the ingredients in yesterday's kashaka tasting, so I'll give you a bit more explanation when we get it. The official cocktail of Paraji, to the extent that even in some areas they call it a Paraji. This is the Gabriella Cachaca, which is the one we tasted yesterday that has cloves and cinnamon and is sweetened with molasses. And then it also comes with lime and maracuya, which is a type of passion fruit. So if that doesn't sound delicious, honestly, I don't know what does. Let's have a little taste. Yeah, what's strong? Oh, this is good. It's so fresh. This music is like. We have a good time. Oh, there's a boat at the end of this rope. <laughs> <laughs> Just living your best life, Max. I know it. <laughs> 